In this video, I'm going to show you how to dynamically initialize your variables. You already know how to declare variables, how to assign values or initialize your variables, and then you know how to print your variables. Well, before even doing anything else, I would love to clean my code a little bit. I'm going to remove this part. Now it's not necessary because you already know what are the reason of using variables. Right, so let's see here when we're declaring also we can initialize the value. This is very much possible and that's called dynamic initialization, which means at the same time you are declaring the variables and you are assigning the values to the variables. So let's do that. Here I could give the value 28 instead of initializing later on. The same goes here when I'm declaring the variable, but remember the declaration has to be always uh, before even initializing the value. So what do I mean by that? Let's say you want to assign some value first like this. And then in the second line, you are trying to declare the data type for this variable. This is not valid, by the way. First, always the declaration needs to come first and then you can initialize. But at the same time, when you are declaring, you can also initialize the value. And this is what we are discussing here, something called dynamic initialization. I hope this makes sense to you. Now let's do the dynamic initialization for the salary group and bonus. You can take a pause here and you can make it for sure. All right, I think you already made it, but let me do this so you can follow and check again. So I'm going to uh, assign some value for this one, the salary. So I don't need to assign like this. And then for the group, I want to say A. So I'm going to just do it like this. There you go. And finally, for the bonus, I'm going to give some value here, which is 2000.75. That's all. So at the same time, when you are declaring, you can assign value. And this is called dynamic initialization. Everything should work just like before. Let me run this program and let me show you you will be able to see the output here. Perfect, everything is working fine. Now, one more thing I wanted to do here, I wanted to format this one a little bit better so that after the decimal point, it shows only two decimal places. So let's do that, point to F goes here, and this will make sure the thing that I expected, it's going to work. There you go, it's working perfectly. So that's all, this is a very simple topic, but again, when you are declaring the variables, you can assign value, and that's called dynamic initialization for you.